Hello, my name is Caitlin and I am a fourth year student here at Winona State University and today I'll be talking to you about how I will play a role in helping you out with your pulmonary function tests before the submaximal treadmill test and how I also play, play a role in assisting you with the VO2 regulator during your treadmill test. So first off, within a pulmonary function test we record breath movements that can indicate a person's optimal response to treatment or to triggers. These tests are useful in detecting the presence of lung disease, to classify severity, to optimize management, and to find those susceptible, me, susceptible <clears throat> to developing a lung disease. Um, to begin, you'll be seated. I will give you a mouthpiece and a nose clip. Um, during your test, I'll ask you to put the mask, the mouthpiece into your mouth, of course, and to make a tight seal with your lips, just so we can get the best results possible. So during the first test of the pulmonary function test, it will be measuring the slow vital capacity. Um, to start, I'll have you just breathe in and out normally using that mouthpiece. And then when you're ready, just take a nice deep breath in as much as you can and then slowly let it out, all of it out, as much as you can. Um, and that will be a first test, so pretty easy. For the second test, we'll be measuring spirometry. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm okay. um, Specifically, we'll be looking at the forced expiratory volume, that is FVV, and forced vital capacity, which is FVC. For this test, you'll breathe in normally, as before, and when you're ready, you'll take a nice, slow, deep inhale in, but for this test, you're going to blow it out, all of it out, as fast as you can. Uh, and then finally, for the third test, under the pulmonary function test, we'll be measuring maximum, maximum voluntary ventilation, or MVV. Um, and for this test, for 12 seconds, you're going to be taking medium Breaths, pushing as much air in and out as, as possible, like you're huffing and puffing. So I'll kind of show you what I mean now. You're going to not taking full breaths, but also not just sounding like a chihuahua. So you're going to be taking nice, controlled, medium breaths in and out, and trying to move as much air in and out as possible for those 12 seconds. Um... Each of these tests will be printed out and we will interpret your data based on ACSM recommendations. Based on your results, we can tell whether there are any abnormalities and how severe they may be. Um, we can also make exercise recommendations of the frequency and ex intensity for the exercise. So next I'll be talking to you about your help, help you with your VO2 mask. Um, after you're all hooked up to the EKG, you're on the treadmill, you're ready to go. I will help you with the headset and the ventilator mask. So the headset is really, I'll just ask you if it's okay that I can touch you and I can help you put it on your head. And if that's okay, then the headset is just there to help it, the VO2 mask stay on. Otherwise, because you're not going to want to hold it while you're taking it test. No. So we're going to put that headset on, we're going to get the mask on, we're going to get your nose clip on once again. And once that is all ready to go, you're doing your test, you're breathing in and out of the mask. The air that mo is moving in and out is actually going to be measured through our barometry machine. And <clears throat> once the test is all finished. We'll print out that data and we'll analyze it as we did with the pulmonary function tests. So that will conclude our little discussion on how I will help you during the pulmonary function tests and the VO2. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. I'm only here to help you. Thank you.